Hey everybody, this is Chef Glenn Sobolski, and this is the fourth video in the Passion Series that I've been posting a video a week uh, now for the past four weeks, and I'm really excited because there's so much great information to share, so many experiences that I've had over the past 20, 25 years in the culinary industry to be able to share with people, to help them get through hard times, uh, to help them drive more revenue, to help them squeeze out more profit from the revenue they're driving right now. Um, so this one is really fun for me. I'm gonna try to keep it a little bit short because it is Friday and we've got a huge, huge day today in the restaurant. We have a lot of reservations booked tonight and big parties. So. Um, I read Fast Casual News today. If you haven't read the article about Chef Chatter, please go to fastcasual.com, read about Chef Chatter, because it specifically talks about the culture in the kitchen. We talk and we hear a lot of talk about the culture in the restaurant and how important it is to drive that culture, to build that culture um, between our team and with our team and our guests, making that one so our team understands that our guests are the most important thing uh, in, in our restaurant. And we wanna make them feel that way. We wanna make them feel that we're grateful for them coming in because we are. So please, thank you, how's your day? We're so happy you came. It's all of that and more. It's the attitude that you walk up with to the table and say, hi, my name is Glenn Sobolski. I'll be your server tonight. Let me tell you about the specials. We've got some great stuff on the menu. How do, you, how do you not change someone's attitude? How do you not inspire someone to be happier while they're having their dinner? Listen, they're coming in and they're supporting us. They're supporting the restaurant owners, they're supporting the staff, they're supporting everything. Let's be grateful about that. Chef Chatter in the Kitchen, we're talking about making sure that our kitchen staff is as happy as they possibly can be. Listen, you're in the middle of a rush, you've got a two, 300 cover night going, it's hectic. Do you have someone in charge? Do you have someone that's responsible to drive that team, that has the ability to drive that kitchen staff to excel at what they're doing in every service? Do you have somebody that says please and thank you? Do you talk to your dish pit people and say, we can't do this without you, thank you so much, and by the way, step it up a bit because we're getting a little bit behind. If you need some help, ask for it. Is that happening in your kitchen? Or are you just expecting people to come in and do their job? Because if you're expecting people to just come in and do their job, eventually they're gonna leave because you're not creating that happy space. Listen, we can't make everybody happy all the time. But if we set an example with ourselves, to our staff and encourage them to be happy, encourage them to be respectful, encourage them to ideate and create with each other. That's what makes restaurants great. That's what shows people passion every time they take a bite of the uh, recipes that you create. My name's Chef Glenn Sobolski. You can reach me at Glenn Sobolski, chef at glennsobolski.com. And if you have a question, reach out to me. Uh, I'm happy to talk to you on the phone uh, about uh, how to improve your restaurant, about how to improve your culture, about how to build a culture. Chef at glensobolski.com. Follow me on all the social media medias and have a great day. I'm, as you can tell, I'm fading because I'm starting to slur my words and it's only, what, almost nine o'clock in the morning. But anyway, have a great uh, Friday. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you next week and reach out to me if you need some help. I'm in the hospitality service. I'm here to serve you.